So I thought I'm going to put aside now all the stuff which I'm going to take on the Fiala Raven trek. I haven't done that yet. It's two weeks more to go to the Germany Classic and I haven't set up my stuff yet. I'm way behind schedule this time because I just haven't had time. There's been so much going on in my personal life and work and uh, I just haven't had time. I'm really underprepared at the moment but I want to take you through what I'm taking and I'm going to sort things out into stuff that I'm definitely going to take iffy stuff and probably stuff I'm not going to take based on my experience last year at the Fjallraven Classic Sweden and then I'm going to walk you through this stuff later. I'm just going to put them all out now and I'm going to fast forward you through it and then we'll go through the stuff. Okay, so first of all, first start with my satellite uh, GPS, not navigation, but tracker and this is so that my loved ones can see where I'm going. That one I'm definitely going to take. I'm going to keep that there. Here we go. Sleeping bag, hat, the sun, my cooking stuff I definitely need, So, I've sorted it out, I've got this side, all the stuff which I'm not sure whether I'm going to take or not, and I'll put this here as well, and this side, all the stuff which I'm pretty sure I'm going to take. i got some stuff in the middle there which I'm not very sure about, but what I need to do now is, I'm going to walk you through all the stuff that I'm definitely going to take, and maybe if you guys have some comments or you guys have some views on some of this stuff. Just let me know, I'd be glad to take advice as, uh, as well, but this is kind of based on the fact that the Germany Classic is three days, two nights. I'm going to reduce the amount of clothes and I'm going to reduce the amount of stuff I'm taking because I don't want to take as much weight as I took for the Sweden Classic last year. And you can see in, my, um, in the top here, I put a link to the prep I did for that and you can also see the day's trekking that I did. But please uh, stay with me. I'm going to take you through now one by one what I have. So let's see the most obvious stuff first. My sleeping bag, three season sleeping bag. I'm going to take this, it's going to pack down. It's nice, I like it. I'm definitely not going to do less than this this time because I'm not quite sure in the Alps what the weather is going to exactly be like. I'm imagining it's going to be a little chilly, but not too chilly. So I'm not taking a, the uh, sleeping bag liner like I did last time. I'm just taking the sleeping bag. Uh, a hat because I think there's a chance that it can be sunny. I'm going to take the hat for sure. Sorry about the focus. I'm going to take the hat for sure. And uh, that should keep the sun out of my face uh, if it gets really sunny. Now, clothes wise, I still need to sort this out. But what I'm thinking is I'm going to take my thermals. In case it gets cold in the night or along the way, I can put the thermals in. This is going to be my pajamas as well for two nights. So taking the thermals for sure. Uh, this is what I'm going to be wearing, which is a pair of uh, trekking trousers, Fjallraven. And I'm thinking I'm going to take probably two extra t-shirts, one t-shirt, one long sleeve, so that I have an option there and I'll just switch them over. It's only three days uh, and uh, I'll just make do with that. I'm going to take my buff, just in case. It gets a bit chilly to cover my neck and to cover my head if I need. And that should do, I believe, for the clothes, apart from I need to sort out my underwear and my socks, which I'm getting some smart wool stuff, uh, which I need to unpack from uh, my closet, which I haven't yet put here. But I'm thinking maybe for three days, I might take four pairs of socks to be on the safe side. I'll use the, uh, the trekkers option, which is a thin pair of socks underneath and then the thick pair on top, which will hopefully stop like last time the blisters from occurring and uh, I might put in another video up just explaining what that what that is and how that worked for me now sunglasses I'm kind of not sure about these so I think I'm going to put them here at the moment on this side until I decide what I'm going to do and I'll leave that there we have this little thing here which is a pillow um, it's just a cover basically you can unzip it and you can put your clothes inside and you can make a little pillow so I'm going to take that it's not inflatable it's just like a cover which is lined with down 
Rain cover for the backpack, definitely taking this next time. I'm not taking the poncho because that was a nightmare on the Sweden trek. Getting the poncho on and off over the backpack, taking it it, it, it was just not worth it. I, in the end, just used it as a rain cover for the backpack anyway. So I'm taking the original Fjallraven rain cover. Got some greenie bags for garbage in case I need that. Although in the Germany trek, we will be staying at set campsites and I think there will be garbage points there. So I'm not too bothered, but I'll just take a couple of bags just in case. I'm taking, I was looking for a MSR larger 900 milliliter pot, but I can't find that. So I'm just taking this Lixada 750 mil pot. And the reason I wanted the MSR was the gas canister, which you get from Fjallraven on the trek, actually fits nicely inside, but it doesn't fit quite inside this. So it doesn't say as much space, but this have this 750 so that when we get the dehydrated meal packs from Fjallraven, uh, I have enough just to boil the water. I can't find my long spoon. I need to look for that but that gets added to the cooking set. And I'm just gonna take a collapsible um, cup just in case I need to drink some water or get some type of drink from somewhere, whatever is available. The stand for the uh, gas canister, my MSR pocket rocket, um, yep, there you go, pocket rocket uh, stove. I'll take that. I'm gonna take a little scrapey thing just to clean out the inside if I need. Shouldn't need that. I'm kind of wondering whether I need that actually. I'm gonna keep that on the side here in, in, in the middle to decide whether I take that or not. Just a wipey thing to wipe down after I've washed off. Snacks. I need to get some more snacks, but I've started off with four energy bars here and just some instant coffee, some tea leaves and some tea bags just as a, as a kind of a added extra. My tent, my Fjallraven Abisko View tent, is a little bit on the heavy side, but I like it. Um, I'm not gonna spend more money on another tent, so I'm taking this with me. Uh, that's gonna add a bit of weight, but let's see what my overall weight comes to. I got a lighter sleeping bed, ba uh, bed sorry, sleeping mat. It is an X-Ped. It's an X-Ped, which I got last year, which I think I put up a, a Sinmat uh, winter. And it's a mummy shaped one, so it's a little bit lighter than the one I had for Sweden. And I've got a battery pack, and I'm just thinking whether I take two battery packs, so I have another hand warmer and battery pack combined, which I might take, but I'm just gonna put that in the middle here until I decide. Then the other things which I have here are tent repair tape. Um, I've got some, um, my first aid, of course all the compression bandages, all the ibuprofens, etc. I've got an extra compression bandage because my knees do play up and I need one for both knees. I've got rehydration salts, which I'm gonna need, and there's a bunch of other stuff in here which I'll take you through uh, individually. Um, I'm taking my pen knife, just in case, but I'm not taking my big, where is it? My big um, knife, which I use when I go uh, just out, uh, if I need to cut wood and stuff, I'm not taking that along. I'm taking a little rechargeable, like a hand rechargeable, lamp, which I can use inside the tent, which is handy just in the night. My head torch, I'm actually wondering whether I take this because it's three days, two nights, I might just use my head torch. Actually, yeah, I'll keep that in the middle here to decide later. Um, I have then, these are tent poles, by the way. I have then, I'm definitely taking my Osmo Action because that's the camera I'm gonna use to document what I'm doing. Um, satellite tracker. That one I'm taking. These three I'm leaving in the middle because I'm not sure. And that's the extent of what I'm planning to take at the moment uh, on my classic Germany trip. Now there is my backpack, which is the Kajka, the Kajka, Kajka, I don't know how you pr pronounce it, but it's an 80, 80, 85 liter Kajka and it is quite heavy. Uh, so I need to, I, I wanna try and keep within 15 kilos this time if I can. So let's see how I manage that. Here on this side, I've got a bunch of uh, dry packs, which uh, I'll use uh, if needed, but not all of them, but I'll use if needed to, to kind of pack my stuff in. My little light Nikon 
F uh, Z Z head FC camera. I'm not going to take on this track, I think, and I'm not taking the drone. Um, actually, I'm undecided, but I think I'm not taking the drone. All the extra coffees I'm not taking. The fire starter stuff I'm not taking. I don't need um, all my birch fire starter pieces. The water filter as well, I'm not taking. <laughs> that reminds me, what I do need is I do need to take my Nalgene. My Nalgene bottle. So I will take that. Uh, you can see that. I will take that Nalgene and I'm going to get one more because I want to have two liters of water as I travel because I'm not sure how, um, how safe it is to drink from the streams. I need to do a bit of research. If it is safe, then I'll just take one Nalgene and the beef free. Yeah. Should I keep that in the middle? Uh, I'm not taking my little tipple. Um, actually, I'm undecided on that. I'll leave it here. I can always take it with me and just leave it uh, at the, uh, the collection point. Um, I don't think I'm going to need the d d d deuce for going to the toilet, but you know what? It's not heavy. I'll just take it. It's an added um, um, extra, which is not going to hurt. Um, I am going to take, actually, I just decided these toe warmers and hand warmers, just in case it gets cold. I'm prone to having... Um, cold feet and cold toes, so I'll take that. Not taking extra cables and stuff. Sunglasses, meh, if the weight is there, I might take it, maybe not. Cooking uh, gas, I'll get there from um, Fial Raven, so I won't take that. Hot water bottle, I'm not gonna take. Sitting mat, I don't think I'll bother with that. Uh, washing up basket, no, washing line, no. Salt and pepper, I can make do without salt and pepper and chili just for this. So I think this is the extent of what I would plan to take this time around. So I will maybe do a little bit more, five minutes more just on what's in the uh, first aid kit or I'll do a separate video on what's in the first aid kit and why I, I, I decided to take it. I'll do maybe a separate video on that and maybe the socks because it relates to the, the blisters as well. But in a nutshell, that's currently what I'm planning to take. I'm going to pack this all up and weigh it and let you know how much that weighs uh, shortly. So I've packed everything in now that I want to take and I've added about um, three liters worth of water there just in case I've forgotten anything or I want to take extra water. Let's see what this comes up to here. I don't know whether you can see that. That's about 15.7 kg. It's still a little heavy. So I think I'll have to review a little bit and see what I can take out because there will be food on top of that. Um, yeah, I'll take a look at that later and maybe post in another video my final pack or before I go for the trek.